you might have heard of OpenAI Sora, which is their video generation tool. What if you can have an open source version of a video generation tool, which can generate videos which are very similar in quality to the videos generated by OpenAI's Sora. This is where Mora comes into the picture. Now, what is Mora? Mora is a multi-agent framework designed to facilitate generalized video generation tasks, leveraging a collaborative approach with multiple visual agents. It aims to replicate and extend the capabilities of OpenAI's Sora. So, Sora can, uh, you know, Mora can do all the things which Sora can do, which is text to video generation, text conditional image to video generation, extended uh, extend generated videos video to video editing connect videos simulate digital worlds okay so here are some demo videos which have been generated right now if you go back and look over here these are the exact you know uh, captions for the demo videos the captions are present in the paper okay but these are some of the demo videos which have been generated using mora uh, now, the idea behind Mora is that it's a multi-agent framework for video generation. So you have multiple agents over here and these can autonomously loop or communicate with each other, right, in a pipeline fashion to generate your video. Okay. So the first stage is actually prompt enhancement, where when a user types a text prompt, uh, there is a prompt selection agent which can select some a a pro uh, agents like GPT, Llama or BARD to get a more expressive description of the prompt. Okay, then there is a text to image agent which can make use of text to image tools like DALI2, Stable Diffusion or Imagen or Google Imagen to generate an image based on this expressive description. Right, now based on this description or instruction plus this image, Right, there is image to image agents, which is again like stable diffusion Excel, uh, you know, AMO edit or Imagic to generate a refined edited image. This is again an image to image agent. Okay, then you have video generation based on this edited image. Right, then you could have a video extraction. Okay, uh, and then you have your uh, video connection. You can also do video connection, video transition agent, whereby you can connect videos. Right. So here are the various uh, steps. Right. Text to video generation goes to steps one, two, four. Okay. Uh, text uh, or one, two, three, four. It can go through either of these steps. Right. Text guided image to video generation is step three to four. Then you have extended generated videos, which is step five, four. Okay, where you are trying to extend a video, a generated video. You can also do video to video editing step 5, 3, 4. Okay, and you can connect videos, which is step 6. You can simulate digital worlds, which is step 1, 2, 4. So this is a framework which utilizes uh, several advanced visual AI agents, each specializing in different aspects of the video generation process to achieve high quality outcomes across various tasks. It is capable of performing a, a broad spectrum of tasks. It is open source and can be extended. The agents may not be open source over here like GPT or Llama or Llama is open source, GPT or BART, right? But this framework is open source. That's the idea over here. And what they're saying is that experimental results demonstrate the ability to achieve what is close to Sora, okay? Making it a compelling open source alternative for video generation domain. Okay, so OpenAI Sora is closed source. They have multiple video examples over here. Okay, this is uh, the video. Here is the prompt, which is a majestic mountain range covered in snow with peaks touching the clouds and a crystal clear lake at its base, reflecting the mountains and the sky, creating a breathtaking natural mirror. This is the video which has been generated. Okay, so here you have some videos which have been generated based on these text prompts. Uh, this is text conditional image to video generation. So text plus an input image and this is the generated video. So here you have the Sora generated video as well as the Mora generated video. Okay, for comparison. Right, an image of a realistic cloud that spells Sora. Here is the cloud and this is the video which has been generated. This is the Sora one, this is the Mora one. 
if you look over here you can't really find differences they are quite close it can also be used to extend generated video so this is a video which has been um, generated and this is an extension of that video okay so over here if you look at the quality may not be that much comparable to say sora okay but it's still okay right that's what they are saying over here is that uh, the quality may not be very close to sora but then uh, you know you get uh, some kind of videos which are closer to sora okay right it may not be an exact match or maybe sora is better in many use cases in some cases mora is better okay it can do video to video editing for example given this particular video change the setting to 1920s with an old school scar okay make sure to keep the red color so here this is the mora edited video where this car is made to an old school scar, uh, old school car okay here the settings are changed like the environment and other things are changed here it is more or less the same kind of a video okay put the video in space with a rainbow road so over here it becomes like this in mora and this is a sora edited video okay uh, in this video i kind of like this okay but this is much more um, you know closer to this video not closer but yeah here you have rainbow this thing right rainbow road uh in space okay both of them are not in space or something like that but yeah uh it can also be used to connect videos uh so you can have two videos and uh, you know you can connect it and it can generate your uh, you know combined video kind of okay so these are some examples of that uh, it can simulate digital worlds this is mora simulating video this is sora simulating video so they are saying that the code will be released soon uh what i forgot to mention over here is that this is a research work this paper has been published by researchers at Le uh, lehig university and microsoft research okay there is this detailed paper which explains more about um, the choice of agents and other things you can probably read through this paper so this is an interesting idea okay over here of using like uh, multiple visual agents to generate videos okay and these visual agents can be combined in an autonomous fashion that is what they are saying over here okay that you can actually uh, uh, these a agents can work in a collaborative way in an autonomous fashion okay given an input prompt and other things to come up through the flexible pipeline okay so the agents can be automatically organized or they are automatically organizing agents to loop and permute through these subtasks Mora can complete a wide variety of video generation tasks through a flexible pipeline, thereby meeting the diverse need of users. So this is a short video on Mora, an alternative to Sora. Uh, I'm going to wait for the code to be generated to test it out. Okay. Uh, it internally makes use of these various tools. So obviously you need to have access to these tools. You should be able to run this locally or through APIs or whatever. Uh, we have to wait for the code to be released to see how you know are they doing these integrations with these various agents i hope this video is useful to you if you like the video please like share subscribe to the channel see you in another video